Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of selectors of and Propa. We always has this problem uh, while generating the selectors for cross origin iframes element. Due to same origin policy, like we can't access the DOM of those iframes which are from cross origin. So th that was like always impossible, but not anymore. Now we have the solution which will make it make it very easy. So let me show you the first thing uh, where it was supporting and we were able to do the things. So these were the iframes, let's say if you right click and inspect element, open selectors up. So there we easily used to get that like this element is inside iframe and this is iframe xpath and all those stuffs because this is from the same origin like from which this is. So this was easy but then uh, there was some iframes like this kind of web ch uh, chat is there. So when there is a, like uh, iframes which are from different source like this iframe is coming from somewhere like secure.livechat while this website is boy uh, boil sport so this is like basically uh, directly we can get to know that okay this is from different source so when you were opening like selectors of you used to get to know that okay this is from the different source we this can't be supported right and uh, let me show you one more example here where it will be like from different source so uh, suppose you inspect any element and open selector sub so it generate like this kind of stuff then you open something some kind of pop-ups comes up like this and this is from different source origin so when you inspect this element selector sub is still showing the previous inspected element the one which was inspected on the top let's say if i inspect this header.id so this is working but if i inspect any element which is inside like let's say login button now it should generate for the login button but this it is showing the previous one region because selector sub or any extension is not able to access and these kind of element which are from different source if you would have opened selector sub directly by right click on this element then it immediately will show you that this element is inside different source origin so you see that it is telling you that inspect element inside cross origin iframe and please watch this tutorial to handle this element now let me show you how can we handle such kind of elements through selector sub and we can easily generate these selectors for them so what you can do here like just right click on this element and directly you can copy relative xpath this is the best and easy way from selector sub and you know that you can customize this one so let me show all all the options here js path absolute xpath that you all can see here so right click and this you go and copy relative xpath this way you can easily uh, copy the xpath for such kind of elements which are inside uh, which are from the different source cross origin iframe you see that this is the x path which we were looking for this element and this one will be generated likewise you can generate for any other element right there so you just right click and copy and you can see that that is the one which is generated for that particular element so you can generate for any element out there x path for cross origin iframe just by right click and copy the value from there so one is this way this is very simple and straightforward you need not to do anything you just right click on the element and copy the value from here okay so this is one way another way like you inspect this element and whenever you find that it selectors of source that this is inside uh, like cross origin iframe so what you can do like it is also suggested here copy selector by right click on and on element or open iframe source url in new tab so you see that this is the iframe and here is the source url this one so you copy this url and open it into the new tab so this way you can now access the uh, inspect inspect this element and generate the selectors direct from here in the tab so you see now we are able to generate selectors for these elements so you would be able to access all those features of selectors from here so this is another way you can generate the selectors for uh, your uh, cross origin iframes elements as well like now here you can generate the multi selectors for these kind of all the elements and everything you can do it here whatever you want to do and uh, if each and everything will work here like works in selectors so other way like if you want to do it in the same tab you can just right click and copy the value direct from here so this is this will be very easy and very smooth like this one and there will be some kind of iframe which will not have the uh, 
source url like this one if you look at here this iframe and there is a source url so if you will try to open this source url in in the new tab you might find that nothing open so in such kind of uh, iframes you can copy the value direct by right click on the element and copy the value here and you can if you paste it here you will find that uh, the value will be generated for those particular elements so directly you can right click and copy the values from there itself likewise so uh, this way you can handle such kind of elements which are not uh, the iframe which you are not able to open in new tab you can right click and copy the value from here itself or if you are able to open uh, the source url into the new tab that's the best way so this way you can access all these i uh, features or i features of selectors for handling such kind of iframes so hope this will save a lot of time for you please let me know in the comment section that what all features you want to uh, you want in selectors hub and if you face any challenges while generating selectors for such kind of element please let me know i will try to uh, implement those those features in selectors hub and will improve it yes definitely this was always impossible cross origin uh, iframes but yeah now we have some leverage and we have we got the solution that at least you will not have to waste a lot of time you can generate the selectors for such kind of elements as well so yeah so this way you can uh, handle such kinds of uh, elements as well of course there are limitations like you cannot you still not uh, build your own x path and verify immediately right here so right now you can generate it i'm working on it and i will keep on improving things uh, on selector sub and will try to keep innovate new things so that it will make your life and your task day to day easy and more easy so with that thank you thank you so much please subscribe to the channel like and share this uh, tutorial so that it will reach to the maximum people and they can take the advantage of this one and uh, another good thing is like whenever you inspect such kind of element directly here in selector sub itself just please read the message carefully like what it is saying so you will get to know each and everything like uh, the, this video tutorial you will always get it here itself like please watch this tutorial to handle this element as well as like what this error message is saying that element inside cross origin iframe copy selectors by right click on element or open iframe so this all you will get it yeah so that's a new innovation and i hope this will help a lot and will self will solve millions of problems for many people thank you thank you so much